Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is the new ability in version 2016i to fully customize the ribbon interface that was launched in version 2016. So here's the custom ribbon interface here. You can see that I have access to all of my uh, ribbon here through the design mode as you can see up here. And basically what I can do is just come in and begin to uh, delete, add, or modify any of these commands. So if I wanted to remove something from the ribbon, I can just highlight it and click on delete and that will instantly be removed. I have the ability to come in and add any techless structure command directly to the ribbon and place it where I want. I also have the ability to add anything in the applications and components catalog as well. So here if I came over to my drawings and reports and I wanted to rearrange some of this, maybe something was in the drop down and I wanted it just to be directly on the ribbon, I can come in and begin modifying this. So I can come in and click and drag this. Maybe I want to expose the number modified object, so I can just click and drag that up here. Then I can make it uh, bigger or smaller, uh, whatever the case may be. Then I can come in and highlight this and I can go to the design mode and select that and then I have the ability to give this a custom name just use the full name or short name or see no name at all I also have the ability to come in and add any sort of custom icons or just access Tekla's uh, icon gallery and I can open this up and then search for whatever command it is that I'm dealing with so here for example is the numbering I can come in and click on that it adds in that image there here if I click on none it will remove the name and then I can just see that image there as well. And then also if I wanted, I can come in and I can click and add any other commands and make them fit there within that location, any way that you would want. So you have the ability to create toggles, on off buttons, you can create your own drop downs, and then you also have the ability to come in and add separators and uh, split drop downs as you can see here as well. In addition, I also have the ability to come in and add in user-defined commands. So here's an example I added in the ATEC DSTV viewer uh, just by simply browsing to the executable. I've also done the same thing for browsing to a URL, so a website here. So back on the Edit Ribbons tab, I can come in and create any of my own tabs that I would want. So let's just say I call this My Favorites, for example. And then I can click and drag and position this anywhere that I would want it to go. Once I have that there, I can then simply just add commands to that. So for example, if I wanted to add in this ATEC command, I can just click and drag and position it right on that new My Favorites tab. And then going into the design mode, again, I can come in and I can change that image to whatever image I would want. So if I wanted to bring in their specific logo, I could do that. And then I could toggle on or off the name uh, depending upon how I want to see it. And then what's really nice is I can come in and save these changes. I can easily reset the defaults. I can compare with what the changes were before. And then Tecla instantly knows that something's changed. I don't have to restart Tecla. So I can just click on yes. It will reload my ribbon to show me my new changes. So here's my favorites tab. There's the ATEC DSTV viewer that I have there. And then over here on the drawings and reports, you can see the changes that I made uh, to my numbering settings. Just another quick example here. This will uh, just save these in a file, an XML file that you can share with anybody in your organization. I'm just going to load in an example that I put together here. It'll instantly recognize that. I'll just click on yes for it to reload. And then here is a throwback to some of the old toolbars with the drop downs that were in previous Tecla versions if that's uh, something that you wanted to create or mimic there. We also have the ability to add in uh, quick launch icons up here as you can see that they'll just be stored there. And then here I also have an extensions tab. So uh, the message is this is a fully customizable user interface. Add any images that you would want, drop downs, rearrange the things as you would need, and then easily share those with others in your organization. So this is available in version 2016i. Everything is documented on the Tecla user assistance of how to create and to adjust the ribbon as needed. We encourage you to try this out. Send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.